going on everybody it is spicy topics and today i wanted to talk about this whole situation with trump and his task force and what's going on in the world and where we have come to at this point in layman's terms you know what i am so 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 done with hearing about how incredible people are how beautiful they are i am over it trump no one wants to hear your rhetoric people such as reporters when they're asking questions are not getting direct answers in numbers even when they ask dr what is her name burke she's giving information about britain china uk when we need to know numbers in the united states you're the one bringing them up president trump is so gung-ho on sticking to his goal that he is not taking account of the fact that we are being told hospitals are on shortages by the minute of the equipment they need personal protection equipment such as ventilators masks gloves gowns is a concern about sticking to his plan his plan is a 15 day turn that curve into a straight line you are more look you're more so looking at a paper in in something that you want over what's reality people are sick and we are being told every day that the disease is accelerating it's not on a decline we are approaching the 15th day dude we have like seven more days before it's the 15th day and just because you want to stick to your little plan you think that's going to work people are not listening to social distancing california was basically breached again because people were at the beach my uh, uh florida another one people are at the beach nobody is doing what they're supposed to do well i should say there are a few of us that are taking precautions because we don't want to get sick period we don't want to risk it being acute or chronic i don't want to go through it so i do whatever i can to protect me and my family and anybody else that comes in contact with me but that's not how everybody is is acting i went to shop right there's over two two four hundred people in and out of shop right there were i had to say at least 10 people i spotted and i spotted a lot that had masks on if that if that there were children in the store people were basic we were all clogged up we were all cluttered in one area there was the store was crowded no one was taking it serious the uh, there was actually some guy i don't know where he worked from i was just trying to get up out of there i was anxious i didn't really care to ask um he did say he worked for some company and he he basically had me and my mom on camera because we had gloves and we had masks on he asked us do we think Shoprite was doing everything they could to protect people and my answer was no look around people were not doing what they could there was one shot right earlier on it was like maybe was it last month it was like within the last month that i went to another shot right and they had sanitizer right before you come in the door they didn't have any sanitizer when when i came in the door this time purell they had none you know purell wipes nothing was there to protect themselves and other people so I don't understand why Trump is, is even, why are you basing on this 15 day plan because people have the social, social distancing rules. Don't you understand by now people are not listening to those rules. I think more people are now taking heed when you said there's, you have to stay at home. There's now a stay at home rule in place. Now people are going to start listening, but they have not yet at all taken serious that this virus it can be acute it can be mild but it cannot it, it, we don't know until you know until you know so you don't know how it will affect you either case the best preventative is prevent it that's the best way is to try to prevent yourself from getting it and giving it to others another thing i keep saying another another downfall they keep reporting to the world and this is not very clever that younger people are not at risk of really being affected why would you tell them that in front of the world the world is watching and this is a vulnerable time where you can impact their thinking you're telling them that you're not really that affected it's only really goes to seniors and people who have already have issues going on with their health 
So that just tells them, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to be affected. I'm going to the beach. Why would they want to practice social, social distancing? And why would they want to stay home? If you're putting a message out over and over again that they're not affected. Stop telling them that. Stop announcing that. Because for one, it's a lie. The bottom line is, if they come in contact with it, they probably going to catch it. So don't tell them that. Why, why, why continue to do that if you see it's not working? So I have a def I have an issue with that. To to sum this up, so, um, geez, Trump wants to put people back in work because for one, he's a business guy. He thinks business. He wants to get people back out there to build this economy. But what he has to understand is there won't be people to send out there if you don't be smart here. You can't give it your timing. Timing has no factor in this invisible enemy. The thing is invisible. You could be standing next to it. I've been looking and seeing that Dr. Fossey, now this is the second time he wasn't there. It's because, in my opinion, that he is fed up with Trump. He is a scientist. Dr. Fossey is a scientist. He told the world he does not deal with feelings. He has to deal with facts. At the same time, because he works under the Trump administration, that's his boss, he has to go with Trump. So he can't just completely be opposite Trump. I feel like he chose not to be there because Trump is giving out information that he thinks of in the moment. He can't give you direct answers. And everything he talks about is followed by he's an incredible person, beautiful people, extraordinary, many, many, many. Like no one wants to hear about how beautiful and extraordinary and incredible somebody is. We want to know facts. We want to make sure that companies don't have corporal bailouts and we lose our jobs because they want to save their jobs. You know what I'm trying to say? We don't want them to end up firing people because they want to keep the money in their business alive. People that should not lose their jobs. We want to hear about resources. We want unemployment promises. You know, we want to make sure that that trillions of dollars that y'all are trying to sign this bill, that it's going to go towards the right places. Put money into an un the unemployment agencies. Put money into these mortgage companies. Put money into, into these businesses as well so we can keep our jobs when, so, when this is over. Put them, definitely put them into the hospitals. Definitely stock and restock and triple restock in case there's a, a tragedy like this again. So that's what I have for now, y'all. And um, just take care of yourselves. And even if you don't think it's very viable and it's serious, just treat it like it is. Because do you really want to get any type of sickness? Do you really want to get a sickness? And if you look at those pictures and videos, microscopic showings of the coronavirus, it's disgusting. You don't want that type of thing in your body. So protect yourselves. Do what's right. In my opinion, they should, if they don't listen, then you may have to start locking down. You might have to put, a, put the stores down, close them up for a day so that they can be restocked and that we can have the, the things we need in these cities. Ladies and gentlemen, from the beginning, Trump has been against state shutdown, state stay at homes. He's, he has not been wanting that from the beginning. He's not, all he's thinking about, he's, to me, he's being impulsive. He does not, he's a one-track mind. He wants to get you back to work. Never mind that the schools are shut down. Some of them, most of them, for the end of the year, they shut down. How are your kids going to be watched? Daycares are shut down. How are you just going to change plans and go back to work when there is still a rising virus that you can't see out there? The numbers are not declining. And, and just consider Trump's not giving you any numbers. Neither is his task force. They're not. They keep saying they have to look at data. They don't know yet. Well, damn. How long has it been now? Are you looking at data or are you hanging out? Dr. Burke was just sick the other night. That's what was just said. She had a fever. She had a fever. How do I know you really don't have the coronavirus? Which means that you shouldn't be up there either. I mean, the whole thing is a mess, and I'm not going to pedal him, pat his back like he's doing such a great idea. I don't believe anything until I see it. He was against shutting down people, making them stay home. 
from the beginning he was not wanting to do that it took como the governor of new york to really put the put his foot to the pedal fire up that light under him in order for trump to actually move it took the states governors the mayors and the people the news reporters to drag him in order for him to consider what is right in front of him that this sickness is out here it is accelerating and it's not only hitting adults it's hitting young people too so don't believe that so make sure y'all take care of yourselves and thank you for listening to spicy topics stay tuned for more